Good morning everyone, Oliver Joyce from Whiskey Barrel Studios here with another progress update on Sword and Sandals Pirates. Well, we are rocketing towards the end of development here. Um, it's now late September and I said I'd get the game out sometime in November, which uh, is kind of scary because I still have a big um, list of things I need to add to the game and fix up and polish and tweak and so on. But this new urgency has certainly upped my production. So I'm spending a lot of uh, time late at night and on my um, days that I'm here working at Whiskey Barrel Studios on the game, just getting as much in as I possibly can. And one of the things I wanted to show you today was in fact uh, the monster battles. Now I um, had the sea monster battles in a previous video, but I wanted to show you the land monster battles, also known as, at the moment they're called the Sentinels. Now, these are special huge monsters that you can take down, and if you do, um, you'll gain, I'm not sure what yet, but it'll be something worth your time. And they're sort of end game type bosses. You don't really want to take him on the beginning of the game, but that's actually what our intrepid tr uh, crew is about to do. So um, we'll switch over to the game camera now and um, check it out. All right, so here we are in the actual game window, and where I'm um, playing is Olaf the Mighty, who is a marauding Barbarian Lord from Atania in the north. And his home island for the game is Platos. Now, he already has a fort with walls and so on in this island, and an arena and all the buildings. Um, but what we want to do is go into the port, and I want to actually build up my little um, ship crew so we can um, take on this island guardian so we're going to go to the shipyard make sure we've got enough crew yep we go to the fort and we'll um grow ourselves some range troops i'm going to change that sort of mario sound effect because it doesn't really fit with the game it was a bit of a placeholder so you can see up here how many people are in the crew Okay, so there's only a certain amount of sailors you can pick up from any one tavern at any particular time. Um, you can come back tomorrow or a new ship might arrive, as um, the armor master says. All right, so what we now want to do is we leave port and we go grab some resources for trading. Um, actually, that's not what we wanted to do. Uh, we've got some anyway, that's great. We actually want to go to the market and we will buy some materials, buy some luxuries. We've got lots of money at the moment. Um, you don't start off with this amount of money, but this particular save game has plenty. So we now have materials, luxuries, trade goods, and food. We're all stocked up and we're ready to go. Back to sea. Our ship is upgraded a bit as well, so we're a bit faster than you'll normally see. We're gonna find a nearby island. Um, in the final version of this, we're gonna to have to find islands that have pyramids on them because that's where you find the, uh, the sentinels. So they're not in the game yet, so we can go to any particular monster. Oh, there's a sea monster. It's a big dragon turtle. We're gonna avoid that for now. And we'll go to this particular island here and see what we wanna do. Okay, Grey Goat Atoll. So to fight a uh, island sentinel, what you're gonna to have to do is you visit the tribe um, you have some diplomatic talks with them. Um, to get good relations, they will demand these resources. We're going to go, that's fine with us. We have the resources for the deal. We accept. Now we control the island and the um, natives won't attack us. Um, this call sentinel button is um, going to change a little bit. What I'm going to add is um, if you wish to call the sentinel to battle, uh, you have to have um, a reputation with um, exalted with the tribe and that will be at a hundred so you have to offer them more and once you do that this button will appear for now for the purposes of this uh, video it's there anyway so let's call a sentinel and prepare for battle all right so here we are with the uh, island sentinel and this particular island is um, Zel Harquel the lost Zeltec deity um, and he has 115 health versus our motley crew with um, small soldiers. So we're probably going to get our asses handed to us in no uncertain terms. So what we have here is uh, a beginner army that hasn't been upgraded at all versus a uh, basically a god. 
um, range phase, of course, just like regular land battles. You fire at him. We did a little bit of damage there. He, he flashes red. And then we'll choose some troops to um, attack this round. We're going to try with our heavy soldiers. If you do a cautious attack, they don't do as much damage, but they don't sustain as much um, damage. We're going to try a Furious because we know that they only get one shot at this. They did a little bit of damage, but they all died. I've added some little um, fun speech text to the uh, game now as well. Fire again. Now we'll try with our light troops. Furious attack. They did a bit of damage that time, which is good. Um, now we'll try firing again. I haven't put spells in the game yet, so once the spells are in the game, the captain will be able to cast sort of you know lightning bolts and that kind of thing on the uh, the giant monster as well, the sentinel. Um, one of the light troops actually miraculously survived, so we're going to send him into battle again. That failed, but he actually did a bit of damage, which is kind of cool. Now we fire again. I don't think I've made these island deities um, powerful enough because we've actually done a significant amount of damage to him, so I have to boost his health a bit. Um, fire with the uh, ranged troops. Actually, no, we're going to send them into battle because they're the only ones still alive other than our captain. Furious attack. Ranged troops are very weak in melee attack. One troop left. And now it comes down to us. Actually, no, let's send the ranged one again. Alright, now it comes down to all after the mighty versus Zell Harquell, the uh, Zell Tech deity. Captain, Furious Attack. That's probably going to be the end of this. We've got our 10 health up here, and he has 58. Furious Attack. Battle lost. Oh, whoa. So we lost that battle. Um, captains get multiple attacks, so you can see in that he was able to hit uh, Zelhar Quell uh, quite a few times, but he didn't win that battle. And we, of course, are now dead. And Zelhar Quell devoured the following items. You and have perished. We've perished. We can resurrect. Very dramatic. You have risen from the grave. But of course, you come back and you know you lose some of your resources and gold and so on. Um, I haven't figured out what you get when you defeat these island guardians, but I think it's going to be sort of a, you know, a sea jewel or some kind of, um, one of a certain amount of, um, very rare items that, uh, only, you only get from defeating the, uh, sea monsters and land monsters. And that, of course, goes to your end game score. We'll journey on. Another glorious day on the sparkling blue ocean. And return to our home port of Platos. Here we are. So yeah, there you go. Um, that is Land Monster Battles. And I'll have another video for you um, soon with uh, some more updates. Look how fast our ship is. Good fun. All right, everybody. Bye for now.